So you want to create an online course, but you're not sure which platform is right for your business. Watch this video for a comparison of the top five online course delivery platforms. And if you're just doing research and still not sure whether an online course is right for your business, be sure to stick around all the way till the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can take my free quiz to determine which digital product is right for you. For the best digital agency tech hacks for bloggers and small business owners, be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on my best tips for growing an online business. If you're paralyzed by all the options on how to deliver your digital course, by the end of this video, you will know the ins and outs of the top five platforms and be able to confidently decide which one is right for your business. I'm Kate Murray, and over the last decade, I've created hundreds of digital products, and I've done it the hard way one too many times. That's why I'm sharing these tips with you, so that you can get your online course set up quickly and efficiently. The first two platforms that I'm going to talk about are Udemy and Teachable. Now, a lot of people gravitate toward these platforms because there's a very low or no upfront cost. I know what you're thinking. You just want to make some extra money with your course. So one of these big box platforms like Udemy and Teachable seems like a great idea. After all, you have the special knowledge about your topic. You've put a lot of effort into your course, organizing the lessons, the script, the video, B-roll, worksheets, guides, maybe even homework. Thinking through the platform where you deliver your course and market it for sale can seem really overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. I'll get into this more in just a moment, but first, pay close attention because this is the part that separates the people who make a six-figure income with their course from those who only make a few hundred dollars a year. The reality is, when you go for the quick and easy setup on platforms like Udemy and Teachable, you are severely limiting the upside potential you have to build a thriving business. What does this actually mean? First of all, the students are not really yours. You can only communicate with them through the platform. You don't have their email address, so you really can't reach the full potential of marketing to them later on with a follow-up option or another course, unless you're doing it through the platform. Secondly, you miss out on the opportunity to build your own community and an audience around your topic. Since you don't have any interaction outside of the course platform, it severely limits your ability to create a private Facebook group, get testimonials to help with the sale and marketing of the course later on, as well as freely market your own brand. At this early stage, it may seem like personal branding of your course doesn't really matter much. But remember, we live in a day and age where people trust other people's opinions more than they trust a brand's advertisement. You'll never be able to truly market the product as your own if you go for the quick and easy option. And Udemy and Teachable are profit sharing platforms. That means that the amount you get paid when a student signs up for your course is very minimal. In fact, if you sell your course for $100, you might only make half of that. But when you consider all the work you do to market and get people to sign up for your course, the fact that you won't even have access to sell to them again is just not worth it. Selling an online course is a smart business move, but my advice is to use a tool such as Thinkific, ClickFunnels, or WordPress. So what's the difference between these three? The next two platforms we will discuss are Thinkific and ClickFunnels. The user experience and dashboard inside ClickFunnels and Thinkific are very similar in terms of how you can customize it for the experience of your students. Both of these allow you to brand it with your own logo and color scheme, but the style on the inside is pretty straightforward in terms of what your students will actually see when they're logged into your course. As you can see, both ClickFunnels and Thinkific have the same exact left sidebar navigation for the student. And inside the lesson, you can upload videos, audios, PDFs, or other types of documents. The difference between the two is that ClickFunnels is more of an all-in-one solution, meaning it's not just a platform for building a digital course. It also offers you the ability to create landing pages and even order forms and payment options that match your brand. And here's the really important part that differentiates the two. 
ClickFunnels allows you to quickly and easily set up an affiliate program for your course or any of your digital products, while Thinkific provides the functionality to drip content in a membership style. So depending upon whether you're planning to launch and sell your course as Evergreen, or whether you plan to sell it as a membership website where you release content each week or month, that should help you determine which of these solutions is right for you. You can test out a free trial to either of these two platforms. I've provided links in the comments below. What platform have you been considering to deliver your digital products? Let me know in the comments below. Finally, let's dive deep into how to deliver your digital course or digital products using your WordPress website. I've been creating and selling digital products online for over 10 years. So before any of these e-commerce delivery platforms even existed, I always set my clients up on WordPress. Most large corporations also use WordPress because it allows the most flexibility to customize. However, the drawback to using WordPress is that you may need some technical help to get it all set up. So how exactly do you sell a course or a digital product on your WordPress website? To accomplish this on your existing WordPress blog, you'll use an elite plugin called Wishlist Member. At first glance, the Wishlist Member plugin gets installed to your WordPress website just like any other plugin. The difference is there are several hundred integrations which help to customize the experience even further. In order to sell your products directly using Wishlist Member and WordPress, you will need an SSL certificate as well as a shopping cart integration such as WooCommerce. If you have questions or need help getting set up with any of the platforms that I've talked about in today's video, book an appointment with me. There's a link in the comments below. Now that you've got a good understanding of exactly how these top five platforms work, what's your next step? Take my free quiz, answer a few questions about your business, and I'll send you a free game plan on how to get started creating and launching your first digital product. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe because next week I'll be talking all about the different types of digital products that you can sell on your website. Thanks for watching. See you next time.